Hi, boys and girls. My name's Jim, and I have the honor and privilege to do this week's Children's Moment. This week, we're going to learn about a person from the Old Testament named Hannah and the power of prayer. So let's get started. This is a story about Hannah's prayer and the power of prayer. Hannah was feeling very sad. She and her husband Elkanah had no children. Hannah prayed to God because she really wanted a baby boy. Elkanah tried to comfort Hannah by saying, I love you so much, Hannah, much more than lots of children. Every year, Hannah and Elkanah went to the temple to give thanks to God. Hannah had something she wanted to pray about. If God would give her a baby boy, she would give him to the priest to be his helper. Eli, the priest, was surprised when Anna was muttering and thought she was a drunk person. Priest Eli told Hannah, you shouldn't come in here drunk. But Hannah said, I'm not drunk. I'm praying to God. Go home, said Eli. Your prayers have been answered. Soon Hannah had some really good news. She was going to have a baby boy. When Samuel was old enough, Elkanah and Hannah took him to the temple. Samuel would grow up to be a helper in the church and really love God with all his heart. So preparing this children's moment it really made me think all about the story of Hannah. First of all, I thought, well, how long have people been praying in the world? And so I Googled it online and I found out that people have been praying for over 5,000 years. Can you believe that? And then I thought, well, maybe I should share a little bit about what I pray about. You know, I pray for peace in the world, that people will stop killing each other. I pray for people to be careful and think about climate change, which is haunting our world. And I think about all you young children and the future you have, and I want that to be as good as possible. I don't know if you know, but the church has a prayer group, and they think about all, all the people in the church who are sick, and they ask people to pray for them. I mean, think about that. Suppose you were sick, and you knew that all these people were praying for you. I think if they were praying for me, I would really be touched and moved by that. So let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving me the privilege to think about the children's moment. I think about all the children that are in the church and I wish them well this upcoming week and I hope they stay healthy and happy. Amen. Bye-bye.